Alright, uh, hello and welcome back to the Alan Lua Box Court here for the 2023 International Indoor Junior Lacrosse Commonwealth Cup. Back for game number five. We've got the Adelaide Thunder and the Melbourne Storm in action this afternoon. And straight away, it's the Adelaide Thunder that hit the back of the net. Just have to bear with us. We've got a lot on for volunteers this Arvo, so we'll uh, do our best down here at the Adelaide Box Court. But it's the Adelaide Thunder that make the better start. Both these sides, I believe, are undefeated so far. Uh, sorry, the Melbourne Storm. Uh, both had lost to Canada. But both had beaten Perth Fury. Plenty of physicality out there early. That's the Mablin Storm that put their first goal in the back of the cage. So that's Marcus Aaron Batsis that puts in his opening goal of the game for. Melbourne Storm. Well, one four there by Aaron Law, but it's gone straight to Thunder. Williams. Teed up by Paps Oglu, so gets the flick inside. Well defended there. Back across to Williams. Shot clock down to 15. Williams doing it all by himself now. Pulls the trigger across. Good save there from Watson on the shot. From Will Dallison. Shot saved again from Watson. Kai Williams. Good check there. That's James Suffolk on the D nearly turning that one over. It's quite a long set here for the Adelaide Thunder. Shot saved again from Watson, but on the follow up again. Tyler Reynolds this time. Beats his Victorian National Championship teammate in Blake Watson. To put the lead back out to two goals to one in favour of the Adelaide side. So I'd need to confirm, but I would imagine that the winner of this game will play Canada tomorrow night to play for the Commonwealth Cup. At the moment, it's the Adelaide Thunder that have uh, made the better start. Reynolds. Plenty of heat coming his way, but good enough to get out of it. Grease dive comes there. Couldn't quite see who that is. I think that might be Kernahan. Certainly is. Orlando Kernahan with a crease dive across the uh, in front of Blake Watson there. Puts the Thunder out by two now. They lead it 3-1. Couple of minutes into this opening term. Ball won by Lua this time, but once again, they can't quite capitalise on the face-off dominance, so... 
ball's going to head the way of the Thunder again. Feels like it's been an age since the, the Storm have had possession. Nearly a hospital pass there to Tyler Reynolds, but good enough just to work his way out of it. Reynolds feeds across now. He's got Pagliaro. Beats Papsoglo in the inside. See, so look for this. Another crease dive. It worked before for his teammate, but opts just to hold the ball. Shot clock down to five now, so they're going to have to pull the trigger. Reynolds does. Save from Watson. Across to Williams. He's got Farkas for company. There was a little pick inside and he uh, rewarded the run. That was Dallison making the move on that occasion, but Watson standing up big early. And then once again, Blake Watson makes a save on this occasion. Ball carried down by Joel Kukuchka. The sun uh, absolutely wreaking havoc right now. You can just see it sort of at the back of the clubhouse. Just blinding right now. So, got a feel for the keeper looking that one down the eye in Blake Watson. It's a good carry forward. It's a great carry forward there. I believe that's still a Marari in possession. Did a great job to transition that ball the forward half for the Thunder. Shot clock down to 10 seconds now. Dallison feeds one, feeds another. Williams all by his lonesome and a great finish there from Kai Williams. That's a couple of times they've just had that pick and slip. And it's uh, working to great fruition at the moment. Defensive pressure there to put the ball to the ground. Who wants it more now? It was Reynolds that wanted it more, and he still wants it more. Puts the body on it. That's great work there from Tyler Reynolds. Probably not great intent from the Melbourne Storm, but had the intent, rewarded for it. Turn a hand. Nice goal before. Does he want another one? Well, he does, but no luck. down the back. Watson wanted a piece of it. Kuchka. Buchanan. Over to Aaron Batis. Haven't seen too much of this so far from the Storm. And, well, they're pretty potent. Toby Templeton just missing on that occasion. So I think that's going to be a key for the Thunder. Limit the amount of chances the Storm have because uh, once they get in those positions, they don't miss too many times. Sam Vincent, well, he's got the visor on, he's looking the bit, gets the pass across. Reynolds, how, oh, how good was that? All in one motion, but it was either denied by Watson or just missed it. Turn ahead, shot clock down to five, so Williams is going to have to go early. I'm not sure he's too aware of it. He just uh, misread that one, I think, by Williams. While we're there, we're just going to stop the play for the moment and have a quick drink. It is quite warm out there for our players. The sun's still uh, blazing, so we'll take a quick break. We might just take a quick break in our commentary as well. We'll be back with you very shortly.
their officials just letting the teams know that this isn't a break in the game. It's not a coaching break, just a, a quick break to hydrate and then get back into it. Good to see some uh, father-son relations out there, Brendan and Dan Hall having a few words. Brendan, one of our officials, and Dan uh, in the coach's box for the Melbourne Storm. So it's Eden Hunter Roberts that restarts play for the Melbourne Storm. Really important that they try and uh, get this offensive half moving. They haven't really had that many opportunities to storm, so see how we go. Buchanan wasn't afraid of some letting some shots off yesterday, but this time he proves the assister for Marcus Arambatis. what they needed there for the Storm. They level things up at, I'm sorry, they uh, margin back with him too. They're quite far from level at the moment, but certainly back into this contest. Taps off Luke, across to Farkas. Moving the ball a little bit better now. Aaron Batis sees the cutters, but just decides to wait for reinforcements from the bench. Gets past Wiley. He's got Cut it now from Templeton. How many times did they link off like that? Uh, just so dangerous right there. Toby Templeton scores. Marcus Arambatis, the sister. Goal number three for Marcus Arambatis. He's got all three. Uh, sorry. Two goals and one assist. And Toby Templeton with his goal of the game. Just like that, we're back within, uh, back to a one goal ball game. Cannon down up to Kuchka. Templeton. Feeds low, just uh, misread that one, Buchanan. Pass wasn't to uh, a deal, but uh, just missed it. Sheedy heaves it up. He's got Reynolds in the middle, but misses him. He's going to come back the other way via Suffolk. Now, Sobe Templeton, MVP yesterday. Kuchka shot in that bottom corner from Ethan Buchanan. How good was that? Just laser like. there from Vincent, so the ball's going to head the way of the storm. Spilken this time, across to Farkas. Keeps the ball high, Boyd, first time we've seen him, gets a shot off, looking for that bottom corner, once again misses wide this time. If the ball can sit up for the thunder, they had it. I think there was a foul coming on Tyler Reynolds, but it won't matter because I think that is Gus Rutgey. Gus Rutgey from Marcus Aaron Batsis.
minutes remaining. And the first turn, ball bobbling around. Who wants it? It's McDonald that puts his head over it and comes up with it now. Whether he's just got here, Lockie McDonald, or whether we haven't seen too much of him. Um, hasn't had too much of an impact, so you'd expect him to be one to get involved in this game as it progresses on. Kuchka had a good game last night, did Lockie McDonald. Bit ambitious out there. Shetty makes a simple save, but could collect on the rebound. I think that was Raji down there. Farkas just uh, asked a lot of Xavier Templeton, probably threw it at him rather than to him. But it's going to be Templeton that comes up with it now. Bodies coming everywhere. I think that bar might have ended up a bit high. Play is going to continue. Templeton somehow got out of it. Looks high. Hannah Roberts. Feed. Farkas. Too much space there. Is there a reset on it? No. Play continues. And the shot clock will expire. So... Good defensive set there from the Thunder. Cups off Luke. Defending on that occasion, but Thunder take the ball behind. Dallison back to Williams. He's proved dangerous. Little roll from Kernahan. No good. Collects his own work though. Reynolds can't quite reel that one in before the shot clock. And there was a late hit behind the play, so I think Kernahan's probably going to have to serve some time here. There is a whistle. So only a couple seconds left in the... Uh, Only a couple of seconds left on the Huda. So the Huda went missing there, but uh, <laughs> a bit of a chaotic first turn. But it's 5 4 lead to the Melbourne Storm. We'll take a quick break and uh, be back with you very shortly for the second quarter.
And we are back for the second quarter here between the Thunder and the Storm. The Storm work their way back in from a deficit early in the first term. And they're right back in it now. Back in front to be truthful. So just a correction on uh, that first term. It's led to believe that the winner would have taken on the Canadians. We'll actually have a composite team of sort of the best players from across the tournament compete uh, tomorrow. So because um, the, some of these teams are made up of some players that a little bit overage, we'll pick the, the best underage players eligible and they will face off against the Canadians. Watson, big save there. And of course, I should have mentioned the Storm are man up right now. Kernahan serving a couple of minutes for Bush, I believe. There's some miscommunication there from Arabatis, but it's not going to matter. Toby Templeton just read that one like a absolute book and put pretty much a, a slower ball past uh, Mick Sheedy down there. Storm really starting to dominate. This one right on top. Skilkin takes Reynolds high across the void. Big push there from I think that might be McDonald. Uh, it's Williams, sorry, putting the pressure on, but Buchanan uh, <laughs> gets his own teammate there. Toby Templeton got to buy him the soft drink reckon after this one. Temple not pulls off to the box. That one looks like it hurt. And Thunder, Hail Mary downfield, no. No good. So it's the Storm that come away with it again. Kukuchka doesn't mind this position carrying from uh, top and doesn't uh, mind a, a shot from outside either. And Batsis wouldn't mind uh, seeing him let a few on the keeper using that sun. It's Blinding at the moment. Kukuchka beats one, but the double team gets that stick that was hung out there. Hannah Roberts, nice ground ball. Buchanan, the shot clock will expire. Reynolds tried to get the quick restart, just a little fumble. So you'll have to set things up as the Storm got numbers back very well there. Reynolds, plenty of pressure there for me to Hannah Roberts. Kick across. Williams, little pick and roll. Worked his way all the way through, but great defense there from the Storm. Hannah Roberts just puts that one in front of Suffolk. Wanted to put the foot down, but well cut off by Gernahan. Zip across from Buchanan, and great find to locate Templeton there. Uh, but no goal, we've been uh, disallowed. That was end-to-end -end stuff there. Buchanan just lasered it to Templeton, but... Official said, sorry Toby, you were a bit too close to the crease there. Reynolds, shot off. Either that was Watson that got a piece or it's hit a bit of pipe. Regardless, it's going to be reset. Shady to Kernahan. Carries down and kicks to Pagliaro. Shot misses wide. Donald. Kernahan. Reynolds tries to work his way through. Can't beat Watson. Has collected on the crease though this time. And yep, it's going to be a goal to Tyler Reynolds. <laughs> a 
part of life as he uh, earned the nickname at the national championships. It was a bit lackadaisical there, just I think uh, no one really saw what was happening. He just said, alright, put this one away. Brings the margin back within one. time to thank all of our volunteers that are doing a fantastic job. We can always have more of them, but to everyone that's lent a hand to getting this event up and running, we've done a fantastic job. Straight away, the Thunder pulled the trigger, but Watson good enough to make the stop. He lost the ball, but is it going to be Flood? No, it's gone missing. I'm pretty sure it was stuck in his glove there and he just didn't realise, so... <laughs> Regardless, we found it in the end. And that's us, Barkas, Templeton. Hannah Roberts looks to beat his man inside, just can't quite do it. So he's going to have to look high to Templeton now. Shot clock down to 10. Aaron Batis. Good pressure from Wiley, now gets past him down the lane. Shot, reflected, could have made life difficult for Sheedy, but off target. Shot clock down to three, so Hannah Roberts just has to get one off and a nice little piece there. I think that was Lockie McDonald that just prevented that one from finding the, the cage. back to where it needed to be to restart. Reynolds, sun just becoming more and more awkward as it gets lower and lower. Be very welcome once it dips behind the club house, that's for sure. Turn a hand. Reynolds works his way around, uses plays as a screen. See the, the way that he thinks through things the other end. It's almost in slow motion that he just reads the play and then times everything perfectly but couldn't get through on this occasion. Kuchka, Templeton. Back high to Aaron Batis. And Buchanan. Kuchka. Find a shot here, Joel Kukuchka, so it gets all the way through, beats one, beats everyone. Nice goal. Another goal there from Joel Kukuchka. Worked all the way through. And with that, it's going to be a timeout for the Thunder. I think this one should probably serve as our water break as well, so... Shouldn't need one of those in this quarter. Crowd's slowly starting to build up down here at the Alan Lua box court. Well, good to see. Five still in favour of the storm. Just under six and a half left in the second quarter. A reminder that at about eight o'clock Eastern time, we're going to be bringing you the Perth Fury taking on the touring Canadian team. A couple of cracking games so far against the Canadians. Last night. Last night, the uh, Adelaide Thunder really took it up to them. Sam Vincent for the Thunder. 
taking Spilken for the Storm to face us off. Straight away, Ethan Buchanan gets the shot off on Sheedy. Hannah Roberts collects after the save. Buchanan goes high through Farkas, now back through Buchanan. The cutters come across from Aaron Batis. Hannah Roberts has a little dance, plenty of pressure on him there, just needs to move the ball off. Aaron Batis, shot clock down to five, so he's going to pull the trigger very shortly. They've got to go here, Buchanan, lets one loose, well deflected there, so the shot clock will beat everyone. Feed upfield to Tyler Reynolds, one and one with Blake Watson. He gave him the whole right side and he, uh, he still went left, Tyler Reynolds, so probably a little bit of gamesmanship there from the two of them. Blake maybe just uh, inside his big teammate's head there. Oh, red there from Blake Watson. Sam Vincent. He's got a free lane to the cage here if he wanted to take it, but just settles things down, waits for the numbers to come. Really difficult to, to see down that corner now. The sun is just blinding, so you have to use this if we keep, miss a couple of the angles there. <laughs> Making it very difficult for our camera operator at the top, and James Wade is doing a great job. Pretty much uh, <laughs> doing every job imaginable down here at Altona this week. Farkas, Hannah Roberts. Feed across, missed by Aaron Batis. Wiley couldn't reel that one in. Who's going to come with it now? It's the Thunder. Good body there from Marcus Aaron Batis. Puts the pressure on. Gets the ball back in Hannah Roberts. That would have been a great team goal there. Reward for defensive uh, pressure, but not rewarded. There's just something off the ball, so the Possession will head the way of the storm. Aaron Batch is just way too much space there. They pretty much gave him the whole left hand uh, shot. Saved from Sheedy though. Wiley puts his head over it well, just heaves it upfield. But it's going to be Buchanan now as Aaron Batsis. They've lost some of their structure for the Thunder and they pay the price for it at that time. Batis puts in yet another goal number three for him. Break in the middle from I think that's Lockie McDonald. Certainly it. Had the way of the storm. Had a great day. Uh, had a great night yesterday. Locking McDonald against the Canadians. Flew out of the box. Out of the blocks. Dominated early. Sort of fell our way from it, but great performance. Feet inside there from Toby Templeton. Well done there to Kukuchka. Did it find the way past Shetty? No, it didn't. And neither does that one. So a couple of big saves there from Nick Shetty. much more potent now the storm things ticking along nicely right now as they lead it by three feet across from Buchanan fires the cutting Kuchka would have might have seen some bit of flair there maybe in around the back or something like that but it's Wiley that reels it in he's got numbers forward if he can use it gets it across to I think that might be Pagliaro and a nice team goal there Jack Wiley feeding pretty sure that was it might have been Kernahan Pagliaro is going to be given a goal. Pretty sure it was him. End to end stuff. So, fight in the middle now. Who's going to take possession? Perhaps I'll move it 
Got to it first, but couldn't reel it in. Wide open is Reynolds back on the crease. Nearly back-to-back -back goals, but uh, I think Blake Watson's living rent-free in the butter knife's head right now. There's a couple of big saves that he's made, one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Reynolds. As I just spurred him on here, Tyler Reynolds, he feeds nice inside. Little shovel shot there. I think that was Williams. This is wide. They keep going, though. McDonald back to Williams. Little underhand. The slow ball nearly gets its way past Watson. Big save there again. Little shove in the back on Boyd. Play on. Williams cops a little shove now. Keeps going all the way through and puts the ball in the back of the net. We are back within one. One forward from Lua, but once again, it's going to be the purple jerseys that come up with it. Williams, he's looked very threatening in this uh, last couple of minutes. Goes all the way through. I think I might have just uh, pumped up Kai Williams there. It might have been Lockie McDonald, but great defense there to nearly pop it loose from Hunter Roberts. Dallison works all the way through. Crease dive, not uh, successful. Hunter Roberts just picked it up and said, right, what do I do with it now? But he had numbers away if he wanted to use them, just couldn't quite find them. So Tyler Reynolds wants to organise, just settle things down. They've got the full shot clock, so it's about 15 left now. Pagliaro works away around, tries to find that bottom corner, can't. Fumble again on the ground ball. Looks like it was tipped off the storm, but going to have the over and back call. It's going to go the way of it's going to go the way of the storm now. Score it, 7-8. It's Everton, down to Boyd. Back up to our ambassadors. It's a clear intent now to get out and put pressure on this Storm defence, but what that means it opens up holes, just like that for Toby Templeton. Farkas. Plenty of heat coming at him now from uh, Kernahan. It's good to see, but it just uses those long levers that he's got uh, to get around. Just a little sloppy, can't quite find the pass. Buchanan gets past one, gets past another, gets the shot off. Save from Sheedy. Collected. Now there's bodies that are going Put pressure on. Williams. McDonald up high to Reynolds. Just tries to beat his man on the inside, but there was a man out the back looking for him. And well, I, uh, <laughs> I've had a crack at him before, and he's really stepped up the butter knife. How good was that? He uh, zoned in on that top corner and like a laser bank goal number three for Tyler Reynolds levels the scores up at eight apiece with just 23 seconds left in the second quarter Can great flick forward. It's collected by Wiley. Can they get one more here? Quick little move, just missing Dallison. So perhaps Olga is going to move it quickly now. Ted on the clock. Hannah Roberts, he's got five seconds, needs to pull the trigger shortly. Three, two, one. That is going to be the end of the quarter. And fourth quarter came, we've got on our hands. Eight goals apiece. Goals apiece with two quarters remaining. We'll take a short break here and we'll be back in about five minutes' time for the second half.
Uh, welcome back here to the second half between the Adelaide Thunder and the Melbourne Storm. Game five of the Commonwealth Cup. Scores level at eight apiece. After two quarters, we'll see if two more quarters can split them. Perhaps Oglu that got the ball forward for the Storm first up. Shadow's just slowly descending across the Alan Lua box court right now. Buchanan up to Hannah Roberts. Wanted Templeton on the roll there, couldn't quite find him. Clark Ass, shot clock down to five, so they're going to have to pull the trigger pretty quick. Not a great effort there from Hannah Roberts, but good enough to earn the reset. Buchanan rides the bump well, works his way around, gets the shot off. Not sure where that ended up. I think that hit the keeper, so we're going to have a reset in a couple of seconds. That should be a reset. What's the call here? So, End to end to start this third quarter so far. Ball just missing on that occasion. It's going to be over and back, so Storm get another chance at it now. Batsis. Looking for the cutters. Finds Hannah Roberts at the top. Little underhand bounce shot. Sheedy. Big save. Put their head on to clear the ball here. If they don't get it over pretty quickly, they're down to one here. That's a that's a clearance violation there. So well, <laughs> a little bit of leniency by officials, I think. Down to about 17 by the time that ball got into their own half, the Thunder, but play allowed to continue. A little kick and roll from Williams, no luck there. So it ends up with Watson, but couldn't quite see the call there. Potentially taken it out or taken too long there, so turned it over. Nearly paid the price straight away. Pagliaro with the shot off. Reynolds writes a bump from Buchanan. Keeps going all the way through. And, well, he has certainly responded. Tyler Reynolds. Black Hodson potentially had a little bit the better of him earlier, but he is right on top now. Goal number four for Tyler Reynolds. First of our third quarter, and it's a goal that gives the Thunder back the lead. A little slip there gives Williams first look at it. Kicks across to Kernahan. He's got players chasing, so he just heads to safety. Dallison. McDonald across to Kernahan. Now to Reynolds. He's uh, been the fire starter for the Thunder. Is he still going to keep going? Try it again. Watson. Gets down and defends that low shot. Ball bubbling around the corner. Who's going to come up with it? Looks like the Storm and it's Paps Oglu. It's a great work there from the young Williamstown player. Plenty of heat being applied to Joel Kukuchka, but up to the, the challenge. Keeps possession there. Zips one across. Carice to Aaron Batsis, who in turn finds Templeton. But the Thunder defence collapse well. Force the ball back out the outside. Five on the shot clock, so Aaron Bassis is going to just have to let one fly here. Does so, gets the shot on Shady, but collapses on that one. Well, keeps the ball. And Reynolds, he's, uh, he just looks like a, he's 
got something in his eye here where uh, just this glint in his eye. He looks he looks on right now. Kai Williams, well defended for Buchanan, but gets the roll back. Looks across to Reynolds. Shot blocked. Buchanan runs into trouble. He's got purple jerseys everywhere and he just keeps running at them. They get the ball clear safely now though. Kuchka. Aaron Patches nearly intercepted there from Lockie McDonald. Shot missing wide. Kuchka, shot clock down to five, so they're going to have to go quickly. Kuchka gets the shot off, save from Sheedy, goes wide. So we're going to have a full 30 for Hannah Roberts. Plenty of pressure from his half-toner teammate and Lockie McDonald there, though. Aaron Batsis. Nice little work to hit the brakes there. Coming back, feed across to Hannah Roberts. Shot zoning on that bottom corner, hits the pot. Ends up back with Kuchka. The heat comes. Just, uh, he went in the fake and just got stuck in the stick there and it's sat up for McDonald. Yes, it has. He's going to take it forward. He's got two white jerseys in front of him, so he just says, all right, let's wait. Big defensive set there from the Thunder. Well-earned break now for those players. Shot. Huge shot there. And it's found the back of the net. Orlando Kernahan. Thunder extend the lead back out. And they lead it by two now. About six and a half left in this second turn. Wiley and Spilkin go head to head in the middle. Spilkin wins it forward, but straight to a purple jersey. Pagliaro swims his own man. Gets past two from the opposite team. Off to Dallison. Well done there. Really stuck in the stick for Dallison. Safely to Williams. He's got perhaps I'll for company. Rolls back onto the left. Buchanan comes for the second. Reynolds. Little flip around the back to Kernahan. Shot. Blocked from Watson. Feed across to Reynolds. No good. Off the wall. Can he collect it? Probably just a little lazy there not to take possession. Probably had more time than he thought, I think, but it's not great defense there. They've left Buchanan and Templeton wide open. Uh, Nick Shady coming up big time. I saw him uh, one and one a couple of times in the national championship. Saved two or three penalty shots. So certainly not uncomfortable in those one-on-one -on -one situations. Reynolds gets past one, gets past two. Shot off on the rebound. Tyler Reynolds, bang. The butter knife goes again. Just the repeat effort, bugging down the door there. He is absolutely lifted here, Tyler Reynolds. Goal number five for him. It's a third of the quarter for the Thunder. And they lead it 11 to 8. About five minutes left in this. Five minutes left in this third term. Bit of conversation going on with their officials and the coaches. Well, we'll just take a break ourselves. So I believe that was just a short hydration break there. I would hope that maybe that might be our last of the night. It's cooled down pretty well now, so uh, not too sure we'll need many more of them for the rest of this evening. 11-8 the lead for the Adelaide Thunder. Five seventeen on the clock in the third.
third quarter. So 3 0 quarter to the, uh, the Thunder so far. Really right on top here, led by Tyler Reynolds. Slip out from Aaron Lua, gets the job done to Aaron Batis. Just uh, quickly got away from that Thunder box when there were players quickly zoning in for him. Henry Farkas, the tide of Buchanan across to Aaron Batis. Good defensive pressure, but he gets the roll back, gets the shot off. Sheedy has been instrumental in uh, this resurgence from the Thunder in this third quarter. But no one comes at him, uh, at Aaron Batsis this time. Just so much faith in, in Nick Sheedy there. And, uh, why not? Makes another save. Reynolds. Running a little bit lower on numbers, the Thunder. So I think the fatigue just slowly setting in, but the intensity still... Nice and high out there. Pagliaro gets past one. Shot clock down to three, so going to have to pull the trigger. Reynolds just tries to feed Williams quickly. Couldn't do it. And it's upfield to Kukuchka. Pass not great, so it's easily reeled in there from Nick Sheedy in the cage. And just... Hook too long getting the ball into their front half of Thunder. That's uh, they'd be pretty disappointed in that one, I think. Oscar Page, just a little misunderstanding potentially. Good guy down to Hannah Roberts. Wants his way through the crease, but he doesn't need to get there. Gets the low angle shot all the way across the body. Eden Hannah Roberts puts the first of the third. In for Melbourne Storm. Much needed there. So Eleven nine the score. One in the middle from the Storm. It's Spilkin this time. Puts it in front of Templeton. Good ground ball with the ball running away from him. Tried to bet his man. Couldn't. Looks high again to Spilkin. He's trying to find a man coming through the crease. No one there. So just feeds it back. No one really there waiting though. So who's going to come up with it? Templeton cleans up. After Aaron Batis. Well, I have to say, as a Footscray man, that sight sort of frightens me for the next uh, decade or so. Toby Templeton and Marcus Aaron Batis linking up there once again. That's a duo to keep an eye on for the next long, long time. Exciting young players, those two. Ones to definitely keep an eye on. in the middle from Lockie McDonald this time can he re, uh, retake the momentum for the Thunder great work there to from Pavsoglu just to hold up Reynolds he wanted that crease dive and Pavsoglu said well not past me mate sends him through the crease I'll take the ball back Kuchka in transition off to Aaron Batis flying from the box absolutely motoring through no one comes at him and Marcus Aaron Batis Levels the score again. Like a bullet out of a gun from that box there. Aaron Batis just put the foot down. No one came at him and all the way through. One on one with Sheedy finds the back of the net. Got four and two for the game. Storm really uh, taking control right now. Bang, straight away, once again. Toby Templeton, number two for him on the assist from Gus Ratchie. 
puts the Storm back in front in the blink of an eye. This is where the domination has been for the Storm in the middle. Lua, well, he looks to continue it. All bubbles around, good contest from the Thunder, but it's Paps Ogilwood. How good is that? Just like a thief in the night, came in there, collected the ball and took off. You know, he wants to go all the way. Does he pull the trigger? The, thought the hole just opened up for him, but he does the team thing. Settles the ball. 15 on the shot clock now for Templeton. Feeds across to Aaron Batsis. Can't link up this time. Collected from Shady off the crease. So the Thunder, really important chance just to slow things down now. Feels like the, the game has just been flipped on its head in the last three minutes or so. Ever since that hydration break, it's just been one-way traffic for the Melbourne Storm. Can the Thunder take back the ascendancy? Reynolds got Boyd for company. Shot clock down to one. Let's off a Hail Mary from deep. Easily collected from Blake Watson. That sun, although that sun just still peaking over the top there, so probably more difficult than uh, than it might look. Kuchka. Templeton. Aaron Batters. Plenty of pressure coming there from Wiley, but can he beat him on the inside? No, the double comes, but that means that Toby Templeton is wide open. And that duo team up once again. Templeton puts in goal number three on the assist from Marcus Aaron Batters. Storm back out by two. Just on the back of an Aaron Batsis Templeton masterclass in the last couple of minutes. It's been great lacrosse to watch. Spilkin wins it forward to Buchanan. He's all by himself out there around the back and he's hit the back of the net. We'd have to put the clock on that one, but that had to be under a couple of seconds, I would have thought. How good was that? Cannon from Spilkin, I reckon. Seven seconds, that one. That was just incredible. And, uh, players just stood around and waited for that one. Just, they thought the start whistle was a halt whistle, but... Storm once again in possession. How many more can they put in in the next minute and ten? Oh, there's a man waiting at the back for the Thunder. They can't find him as the ball bobbles away into the Storm box. <laughs> Reynolds just a little cheeky there on the restart. Um, that's us. A couple of balls on the field though, so we'll wait to find out which one we need to restart. Just under a minute now. Templeton. He was cutting off the ball as Aaron Batsis in possession. Buchanan now off to Aaron Batsis. Just riding this huge wave of momentum right now, the storm, but they're going to turn this one over. That's going to be over and back. Page will get us back underway for the Thunder. Really important to try and find one here in the closing stages of the third. Try and use that sun, that dying sun. Really still in the eyes of Blake Watson down there, so can they capitalise? Not right now. Watson just has to heave it with the pressure coming. It's goalie to goalie right now. Sheed are far away from his cage there, just kicks it off. And Sam Boyd, as easy as you like it. He could maybe give uh, Nick Sheedy a potential assist there, but... Uh, Sam Boyd, number 30 there. Yeah, so one that Nick Sheedy might pop, not want to look back on on the, on the replay, I think. Templeton bobbles it loose. 
puts the pressure on, but the Huda will bait us, I think. Three quarter time is here. 15 11. With one quarter to go. That quarter belonged to the Melbourne Storm. Well, at least the second half of it did. We'll take a short break and be back with you for the final quarter in a couple of minutes. We are back for the final quarter here between the Adelaide Thunder and Melbourne Storm. It was the Thunder that jumped out of the blocks early in that third quarter, but wow, well, it was some sort of display from the Storm to close out that quarter. Seven goals they scored pretty much all in about the space of four and a half minutes. It was quite the display, that's for sure. But still, they can go anyway. The crease dive comes there. Takes out uh, Watson. I think that might have been Kyle Williams with that one. And he's headed straight into Blake Watson, so he's going to have to serve a couple of minutes for that. for that contact on Blake Watson. He's going to serve a couple of minutes. So not too many power plays tonight. Templeton, little fumble there. And another on the ground ball. Uncharacteristic. Buchanan, Templeton. And another there. So they made a new ball out there. Arkas off to Templeton, not a third time here. Buchanan lets one loose. Shady read that really well. And uh, it's a good ground ball there from Pagliaro, I think that was, but couldn't reel it in. Who's going to come up with it this time? The pressure is still on Templeton. Now down to Eden, had a Roberts. He's got a man all the way 
on that back corner by himself. Doesn't use him, instead just uses Buchanan and they race it up. They got 20 seconds on this shot clock. Buchanan, let's run off, off Sheedy, just didn't hold that pipe close enough. off Sheedy there, got a good pace of it but just not quite far enough across deflecting that one into the back of his net. And I think that's Suffolk in the middle. Now it's Aramua, sorry. Boyd dispossessed, it would be the Thunder that take possession now. Ball bobbling around, who's going to come up with it? It's Lua and the Storm that do. Up to the goal scorer Buchanan. Nice little pick and slip with Aaron Battis. No luck there. Shady tracks that one in. And uh, a bit of a better pass on his last. Vincent needs some awareness there. Good talk from teammates to let him know that there's a man bearing down on him. Reynolds. Rolled inside from Kernahan. He was trying again. I think if he hit the back of it, uh, if he hit the, the target, that would have found the back of the net. No luck. That's going to be a couple of minutes on Archie Petzoglu here. I think he might have just actually had a push. So, no call, just a minor. Two minutes. Not exactly sure what it was for. Reynolds. I want to use this man, I would have thought, on a shot. Sticks in the way of the shot there. And the ball ended up back with the Thunder. Reynolds takes the pass, shoots low on the rebound. Good opportunity there for Williams, not successful. Shot should have been reset, I would have thought. So I think it should stay with the Thunder. And it will. Minute and a half left on the penalty. Reynolds. Reynolds and Kernahan working together up that top spot. Who is going to take the shot here? Kicks across. Can't quite see who that is there. Shot is on Watson and save though. I think that might have been Dallison over on the far side. Kuchka up to Aaron Batsis. And then up here, the Thunder, so they can apply some pressure, but if running like that from Aaron Batsis, how good is that? The space opened up, Templeton again, but just puts it down over to Aaron Batsis. Shot clock counting down, gets the shot off on Shady. Collapses, good save. 40 on the shot clock now, on the penalty clock now, sorry. And McDonald over to Reynolds. One last opportunity at the power play now. McDonald over Side to Dallison. Side Little fumble. That's been collected by Suffolk now, has it? Who's going to keep it back? Dallison does well, but just a shove over into his own half there. There should have been a whistle. It was back over, but uh, play's going to continue. And it's not going to matter because the shot clock's going to expire. So uh, just a bit of confusion out there for a second, I think. But so Pat Oglo will uh, head back out there in the next couple of seconds. Okay. Uh, back to even strength. Batsis works his way down. The second comes, the third comes, but he was already too close to the cage there and 
Marcus Aaron Batsis makes him pay. Six goal, his ninth point for this evening. He's got six and three. Quite the, quite the game that he's put on out there. Stake my MVP reputation once again. I was three from four yesterday. We'll see how we go tonight. I'd have him leading the race for the storm, that's for sure. So I have to have a think about the thunder. Tyler Reynolds was really good early. Shot wide from Williams. He was also impressive early, but sort of and kept out of it. Just feeling put the jets on, just left the stick out to dry a little bit though. Shot saved from Watson. Chris got it on the crease now. Nobody. Now Watson reels it back in. Templeton in transition. Counts pass just <laughs> not too sure it was required to be honest. And he's turned it over. Pass asked a lot of Reynolds down that corner but Favourable bounce off the wall. Is there a crease dive opportunity now? No, just defended out of it from Templeton. Screen comes. Doesn't quite do enough to Reynolds. So gets tied up and that's well defended from the storm there. Templeton. Collected the ball there, but just made his way through the crease in the process. Also going to come back up the top through Lockie McDonald. Now across to Williams. Little flip inside to Dallison. Nice little pass there, but that was a, another good save. Templeton. He's only got the one in front of him if he wants to put the foot down. Boyd coming on the backside. Back to Templeton. Great team play there. What a goal there from the Melbourne Storm. I'd probably call that the goal of the night, I think. Just the link up from the two of them. I think Templeton gave it to Boyd. And the, uh, the chance that he was going to pull the trigger himself, but then the opportunity came up to give it back. Great team goal there. Back and it's a break in the middle from the Thunder straight up on the restart. Shot straight away. McDonald. Pagliaro after Kernahan, now Williams. Shot. Watson's really uh, had a dig for the quarter and a half. Got a 
great job out there. Spielkin. Templeton. It's a screen from Boy. Gets a pick and roll all the way through, but can't quite make the catch. Templeton tries to follow up his own work. Can't do so. Where's the ball ended up now? Well, he's ended up with it somehow, Toby Templeton. Just settles, but the shot clock down to four. So they're going to have to get the shot off. Boyd. Ratchie, little fumble. He got all the way through. And the clock just beat him there. There's an argument to be made that was it after the shot clock expired, but maybe just on the whistle. Yes, there will be an argument to be made by Brendan Hall. He's going to make him sit down for a couple of minutes. He's going to sit down for a couple of minutes. In his defence, I think he was probably just his eyes lit up that there was that much space to, to the goal and just pulled the trigger. And all shot off. Watson up to the challenge again. Feeling can't quite track it down. Reynolds. He's going to take this shot here for the Thunder. Just working across the top. Tries a feed across. Skipped one down low. I think that was to McDonald waiting down there. He's still there, McDonald. And the pass tried to feed it there. But Kuchka just head down and barges his way all the way through. But in doing so, he didn't realise that there were people coming after him. So he just uh, wants to take on the whole Perth Thunder side, uh, Adelaide Thunder side right now by the looks of it. The numbers continue to go. Go all the way, Joel. That would have been some, some goal there if he, if he pulled the trigger. But they are man the end down, so he does the team thing. Intercepted there from McDonald. A little fumble cost him the fast break, but they'll get another look at a power play opportunity here. There's about 30 on the, pe on the penalty. Reynolds. Well, no one comes at him, so is there a shot there? No. Kicks across. Reynolds. Well covered there on the chicken wing from Blake Watson. Well collected on the ground ball from Farkas. Cross to Ethan Buchanan on the clear. He's got Farkas out the back if he wants to use him. And just took too long to get that one across. I think he realised that uh, there, but realised just a second too late. So we're going to be even in a couple of seconds. But it's not going to matter... it will so no goal there even strength now Farkas wins it back to the storm he's got numbers out the back or if he just wants to go he goes himself sends the Thunder players flying over and hits the pipe on his attempt there got falls to Buchanan Rules of contact, keeps going all the way through. Ethan Buchanan, and as simple as that. Great goal there. Just putting his name into the MVP, MVP contention there, Ethan Buchanan. Four goals, two assists for his day. Quickly go through the goal scorers that we've got. So... Just going to have a timeout, so it probably gives us a good chance to go through the scorers out there. So from the storm, we've got Sam Boyd. He's got the one and one. Toby Templeton, well, four and one for him. Another prolific day. Gus Ratchy, one and one. Jacob Spielkin with the one assist. Hannah Roberts, he's got two. Buchanan, the four and two, as we just mentioned. Kuchio, one and three. Great work on the uh, the teamwork here. 
there. And Marcus Ambach as well. He's got the 63, nine points throughout the day. Great work from the Melbourne Stormen. Four. Thunder, well, it's Orlando Kernahan. He's got the two to his name. Jack Wiley with the one assist. Joseph Pagliaro with the one goal. Kyla Reynolds, he's got the five goals. Nothing in this final turn, though. Kyle Williams, he had three in the first half and nothing since. And Will Dallison's got an assist to his name as well. So if we're looking at MVPs, I'd probably, yeah, favour Marcus Aaron Batis from a Storm perspective. From the Thunder, yeah, I think you probably can't look past Tyler Reynolds' efforts in that his first three quarters. Got quiet this quarter, but uh, when they fought their way back to take the lead, he was the man leading that way. Otherwise, who else could we look at here? Will Dallison had a, a good start. Kai Williams had a good start. sheedy has been up against it. With uh, plenty of shots coming against you. In. And once again, it's going to be the Storm that take possession. So the Storm had taken that ball, but just taking it back over first. Sam Vincent, just a little lackadaisical, puts his teammate under some pressure, but up to the task is Tyler Reynolds. And just a little concern out the back. Hannah Roberts is just leading on his shoulder, and he's going to come out the side here. Hopefully he's okay. He's popped his shoulder there, so we hope all the best for young Eden Hannah Roberts. In the meantime, another goal for the Thunder. Lockie McDonald puts that one away. is uh, just a couple of metres from us in the commentary position. Hopefully he's okay. I think he did indicate that it shoulder popped back, uh, back out then back in. So I guess that's good news, but wishing the best for him. Talented young player playing out of Altona here. As we approach the one minute mark left in this fifth game of the Commonwealth Cup. It's going to be the Melbourne Storm that run out victors. Feed inside, just missing Dallison there. Reynolds, is there time for one more for him? Crease dive there. Yes, there certainly is. The butter knife scores again. Goal number six for Tyler Reynolds. One in each quarter. And I think uh, that probably secures his MVP, I would have thought, for the Thunder, at least in my eyes. It's been a great effort from him. A player that's dominated on this court for the last couple of months. Both that... Uh, Big box arch level and at the national championship for Victoria. For one in the middle from Vincent. Is there time for another? For the Thunder. Finishing in a flurry. Two goals late. Someone's thrown their stick in there. What's happening here? It's going to be a Paps Oakley that comes up with it. Buchanan, one in one with Shady. He's got Perpetin in support. Just goes all the way by himself. It was a nice finish, but just hitting the pipe there. Comes away with McDonald. Over to Dallison. Underhand shot saved there from Watson. We're pretty close to a close here. Not long enough, would have thought, for Buchanan to get down the other end. No, there's not. That is going to be the end of the game. 19 13 to the Melbourne Storm. Really high quality game there. Quality game there. We'll just uh, 
jump out for a quick yeah, sec while we wait for our input test. Right, so there you go. Cross against my name. Ethan Buchanan also had a fantastic game. He probably would have been my number two vote. Yeah, had a, a fantastic game, did Ethan Buchanan. Finished with, what did he finish with? Finish with four goals to assist. So, yeah, quite a day out for him too. So, Rod Maher just talking about the... Uh, Tomorrow's games, and he's handed it to Lockie McDonald to the Thunder. So, 0 from 2 for today for me, not great, but um, 
There you go. We're going to leave it there for this one. We'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes time for the next game between Canada and the Perth Fury. For now, I've been Lachlan Williams, and we'll see you then.